Hi, Dave Jack here, Superintendent of Fauquier County Public Schools with another edition of Three Great Things. And I have three really great things to share with you this week uh, happening in and around Fauquier High School. Um, the first is uh, something that occurred at Cedar Lee Middle School a few days ago. Uh, we had the initial meeting uh, relative to a construction and expansion project at Cedar Lee Middle School that we hope to get started very soon. So we, um, we had... Uh, uh, advertised a, a re request for a proposal on RFP and we had about 40 50 people show up at Cedar Lee Middle School it was a combination of um, folks representing architectural firms folks representing engineering firms and then a few other people so the exciting thing then is that there's a lot of people interested in um, participating in and bidding on this project uh, to expand and uh, and improve Cedar Lee Middle School. So that was very exciting. And it's it's nice to have some things actually, some actions actually occurring relative to the, uh, the need for some middle school uh, expansion in, in Fauquier County. So that was really good news. Uh, next, I was able to uh, conduct a podcast with five students at uh, Warrington Middle School yesterday. Uh, they were Riley, Addie, Kira, Madeline, and Leah. And what made this experience um, so important and so special to me was that these students had done their own podcast. In other words, they broadcast their own podcast. And the subject was um, uh, special education awareness and, and, and October's Disabilities Awareness Month. And so these students sought to shed light on issues surrounding people with disabilities and the, 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 um, the challenges they face. And, um, and what struck me was the, the real sincerity amongst these five students in terms of wanting to educate their classmates and wanting to uh, share with their classmates um, what, what we can do to, to help uh, to sort of get rid of the um, uh, misunderstandings around of people with disabilities and, and these students talked about invisible uh, disabilities or unseen disabilities and that was really interesting and really astute because there's plenty and there's a saying that I shared with the students um, you know everyone is fighting a battle uh, everyone you meet is fighting a battle that you know nothing about every day and for some students or, or adults it's personal financial etc and for many others, it's it's real. It's things related to disabilities, like mental health or physical disabilities. And I, I was just struck by the maturity amongst these students. And um, this topic has sp a, a specific significance for me, uh, having been a, a student with an IEP uh, during my elementary years, and the the impact it had on me as a, as an individual to this day. And um, and honestly, really becoming something that probably within the last 15 years, I've really even been willing to discuss and talk about just because of the stigma associated with, um, you know, having a disability, a learning disability for me specifically. So um, I, I don't know. It was just, it was very, very well done. It, it was, the kids were great. They were very well prepared. They were a little nervous, but uh, they were, they were uh, very knowledgeable. And it really struck home with me, really struck a nerve with me personally, just based on my experiences as a, as a little kid. So, And last but not least, um, we did have a contest, uh, poster creation contest in Fauquier County. And the winner uh, of it was a, of the contest was a second grader at uh, Greenville Elementary School named Eli. And I visited Eli's classroom and yesterday and was able to present him with uh, a framed copy of his poster and, the, and copies of the poster have been distributed to all of our schools and uh, it was very special and his mom who's a teacher at Greenville also was able to attend and uh, he, Eli was so excited uh, I think seeing his work in a frame framed and, and kind of fancy was was really gratifying for him and he was very excited so that was that was neat um, but uh, just as a reminder October is Disabilities Awareness Month and I'm very proud of the work we've done um, 
uh, in terms of our, our program or, or the department, our special education student services department. We received our highest re uh, evaluation ever from the state, a 95% uh, score in terms of the services we provide for special education students. By no means does that mean we're perfect and do we have all the answers, but we're working and I'm, I'm gratified that we have a, a better relationship, a, a more positive and proactive relationship with SEAC, which is our Special Education Advisory Council. It's a division-wide council. A uh, good relationship, good collaborative relationship, and they're, they're, they're sponsoring and hosting various things this month in recognition of uh, Disabilities Awareness Month. So it's exciting. And uh, yesterday was a really just a great day. And um, one of those days where it makes me really proud to be superintendent of Fokker County and really humbled uh, to be part of the school division. So hope everyone has a great rest of the week and a great weekend. Thank you.